Hello dear friends, welcome to ACAD Designing. This is the SOLIDWORKS 3D Modeling, Exercise Number 7. We make this 3D model, with the help of this diagram, in minimum and simple steps. Let's start. Launch your SOLIDWORKS software. Click on New. Select a part. And then OK. We will make a 3D model help of this diagram. You can check the link of this diagram in the description, for your practice. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. At the start, we make the center rectangle. 50 mm by 32 mm. Also, make this profile with the same sketch on the front plane. Then, we extrude this rectangular part of the sketch up to 75 mm. And, the remaining part extrude will be 24 mm. Next, we make this sketch on the solid face and cut out this segment for a solid object up to 36 mm. Our 3D model will be complete. Let's start modeling. Select the front plane and click on the sketch. Select the center rectangle tool from the sketch tab. The select origin point for the center point of the rectangle. Move Corsair away. Put the value 32 mm, the width of the rectangle, and press Enter. Then, put the value 50 mm, the length of the rectangle, and press Enter. Escape the command. Take Line command from the Sketch tab. We start this profile top of the rectangle. Select anywhere the first point of line on this top line of the rectangle. But do not select the fixed point of the line such as midpoint and endpoints. I select approximately here the first point of the line. Then, draw the line straight vertically to the upside. Now we have to calculate the dimension here, like a total height is 56 mm. Out of this, we have to minus 32 mm of the rectangle. Press Enter. Next, straight horizontally to the left side and enter the value 24 mm. Press Enter. Then, to complete the sketch, we will select this corner point of the rectangle. Now we need to fix one more dimension to complete this sketch. Select the Smart Dimensions tool from the Sketch tab. Select this vertical line and select this line of the rectangle. Place the dimension and put the value 12 mm. Click on the mark OK. Now our sketch is completed. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. Notice here, nothing happens with the sketch. Now, see here. In this case, we have an option, Selected Counters. Just click on this section. Here are two segments of the sketch. You can select either of them to extrude. I select the rectangle first. The rectangle extrude in this direction. You can select this arrow and pull how much you want to extrude. But we have the value for the extrude this segment. So we go with entering the value. Enter the extrude value here 75 mm. Click on the mark OK. See, our 2D sketch converted into a 3D model. We need to extrude this remaining segment of the sketch. See, here is the first step listed in the part design tree. Just expand it. And select this sketch. That we made earlier. You can see the preview here. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. Then once we select this option. Selected Counters. Then select this remaining segment of the sketch for extruding. And this extrude will be 24 mm as shown in the diagram. Enter the extrude value here 24 mm. Click on the mark OK. Next, we make select this face for sketch and draw this profile. Select this face and click on the sketch. Press the control key with 8 to make the sketch plane normal. Now notice here, this dimension is 25 mm. That means this corner point in the middle of this face. Take line command from the sketch tab. Select the first point for the line on the edge of the solid model. I select approximately here the first point of the edge. For the next point, we get a reference track from the origin point or as well as this middle point of this edge. 
I select second point approximately here. And third point here on the edge of the solid model. Escape the command. Select the Smart Dimension tool from the Sketch tab. Select this corner point of the sketch. And select this horizontal edge of this solid model. Place the dimension and put the value 16 mm dot and click Mark OK. Then we lock the dimension form this edge to this corner point. Place the dimension and click Mark OK. This is the correct dimension 25 mm as shown in the diagram. Then select this end point of the line and this vertical edge of the solid model. Place the dimension and enter the value 9 mm. Click on Mark OK. Similarly, select this end point of line and select this vertical edge of the solid model. Enter the value 9 mm. Click on Mark OK. Little bit rotate the object using orbit to get the idea of a 3D view. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Cut tool. See, this tool automatically detects our sketch for the cutout. You can see the preview. The cutout will be in this direction. Just put the value 36 mm and click on the mark OK. Now, this 3D modeling is completed. Let me choose some material for this object. Go to Appearance. Drop down the appearance and select Metal. Select Copper Material. And I choose Brush Copper Material. Just drag it on the object and select the body option. Now, here we applied material on this 3D object. You can choose any other material as you like or as per your requirement. I hope all the steps you have understood. If you do not understand any of the steps, then comment to me. As soon as possible I will answer you. If you like this video then hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next exercise tutorial. Have a nice day.